Where can you get certified for database fundamentals in SQL? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So previously, I would answer that question by pointing you to the Microsoft 98-364 exam. So this database fundamentals exam was for people who wanted to prove introductory knowledge of and skills with databases. However, this exam retired on June the 30th. If you passed it, you were given a MTA certification. That's a Microsoft Technical Associate certification. And if I scroll down, you can see the sort of skills which were measured. Understanding core database concepts, creating database objects, manipulating data, understanding data storage, and administering a database. And if I click on the exam skills outline, you can see that we've got these various bullet points. So for instance, creating views, stored procedures and functions, choosing data types, selecting, inserting, updating and deleting data, understanding normalization, primary foreign and composite keys, indexes, security concepts such as user accounts and roles and database backup and restore. But unfortunately, this is no more. Just like all the other MTA certifications, it was retired on June the 30th, 2022. However, there is a new certification. So it is called the IT Specialist Certification and is being offered by Certiport, which is a Pearson View business. Now, if you've not heard of Pearson, then they are the world's leading learning company, they say, with 24,000 employees across 70 countries worldwide. They offer academic and vocational qualifications that are globally recognised and benchmarked with educational excellence. Now, these certifications are the similar to what the MTA exams were. So there have been some changes. Well, I'll go into that later. But we have, for instance, a databases fundamentals. And if I click on that, download objective domains, we can see this image which not the highest quality, let's say, but you can download it into a much better quality. So this is what it looks like. So we've got database design, we've got database object management, data retrieval, data manipulation, and troubleshooting. For me, this last bit troubleshooting doesn't really assist because it is all about the previous three sections. So data object troubleshooting, data retrieval troubleshooting, and data manipulation tr troubleshooting. So really, you should be able to troubleshoot based on the previous sections. Now, this is offered by Certiport, a Pearson View business. And as I say, they are the, or at least one of the world's leading learning companies. However, this range, the IT specialist programs, has also been supported by Cert Nexus. Now, Cert Nexus is a vendor neutral, so they're not any particular vendor, certification body. And they're there to assist to close the emerging technical global skills gap. So you can see from this letter that Cert Nexus is extremely pleased to support the IT specialist program. It will help to develop and validate the foundational knowledge and skills for the most in-demand jobs. So hopefully in time, if it hasn't already, the IT specialist program will be recognised as being equivalent to the Microsoft MTA program. So what exactly has changed with the ITS specialist certification that wasn't there in the 98-364? Maybe things have been taken out. Well, let's have a look at them on the screen. So we've got the old exam, the 98-364 Microsoft on the left hand side and the IT specialist on the right hand side. Well, first of all, we've got this section called database design, which hasn't really got a centralized place in the 98-364 exam. We've got understanding core database concepts. However, a lot of these are really subsumed into other parts of the IT specialist section. So understand what DML is. Well, it's hard to do data manipulation using DML without actually understanding what it is. Understand how TSQL can be used to create database objects. Well, again, that's part of database object management using DDL. So this section is more a background section 
rather than anything more. So what is the new bit that we've got here? Well, we have got database design and most of this is included elsewhere in the 98-364 syllabus. So identifying entities, rows and records, columns and fields. Well, that is part of creating tables in a database. Given a scenario, identify the appropriate primary keys. Well, primary keys is in here as well. It's in the understand data storage section. So we've got primary, foreign and composite keys. We've also got normalization. So you can see that there are bits taken from all over the 98-364 and placed into the database design. When we get into the database object management, then this gets a bit more mapped. So create, alter and drop tables. We have understand tables, how to create them. We've then got views, we've got store procedures, functions, and we've also got indexes, which is further down in the data storage. We've got data retrieval. So that is the select statement. So we have got extract data from one table, extract data by using join. So this is the joins section. And all of this is needed in the select statement. And then finally, we've got insert, update and delete data, which is here in the 4.1 to 4.3. And the final section in the 98-364, understand database security concepts and backups and restore. That is here in the 1.6 section. So given that things have moved all over the place, what in fact has changed? And there are a few additions. If we start in the where section, so we have got all of these where words. And what I would say is new is not in, any and all. So in can be used to say, give me a list of all of these where this particular field in three comma five comma seven. So instead of having to say this field equals three or this field equals five or this field equals seven. So not in is just the opposite of in and any and all, to be honest, I don't really use in my SQL work. I just don't find them useful. However, they are covered. So anyone who is looking for this exam better know the theory behind it. Now, we've also got top and in brackets limit. So it used to be that the 98-364 exam was all about SQL Server. In the ITA specialist certification, then it's not just about SQL Server, though you can use SQL Server if you want. So it could also be about MySQL, it could be about Oracle SQL. So that's why limit is also included. That's why average spout out is also included. Going up, we have got entity relationship diagrams, ERDs. So that wasn't expressly set out in the 98-364. However, I don't think that's too much of a new thing. You just need to know about primary keys and foreign keys and how they connect. Now with tables, we used to have to create tables. So if I go up to tables, here we are, create tables in a database, but altering and dropping them was not part of it, similarly with views. So that's not necessarily just altering tables in the sense of adding new columns or removing columns. It could also be adjusting the data type for existing columns. And then dropping tables, dropping views. You might also want to use an if exists as well. So it only drops the table or view if it exists. If we go to the security section, so that's 1.6 in the new version and it's in administer a database, then there's a bit more explicit knowledge that you need grant with grant option and revoke. So previously it is understand the need here. It's actually doing it as well. There's also the principle of least privilege. So you're not just making everybody a system administrator. So if these are the new topics, what has gone? And it depends which version of the 98-364 you're talking about because it has evolved over the years. So it used to be that there were constraints. So default, unique and check constraints. Not null and null constraints are still in. Triggers. It used to be in a version of 98-364 that there were triggers, the after trigger, the instead of trigger. They aren't being used in the new exam. And then finally, normalization. 
So if I scroll to normalization, then in the previous version, the five most common levels of normalization, whereas here you're only looking for the first three. And I think that's probably more realistic at this level. So all in all, there's just been some tweaks with the IT specialist exam. So some things have been added like altering and dropping tables and views, grant, wave grant option, revoke, and some tweaks with the where and the group clause. There's been very few things which have been removed. So really, I see this as an expanded version of the 98-364 exam. So if you are looking to say you have got the skills needed to do databases in terms of the foundational skills for databases, and you want a certification, which I would recommend you get because it would look good on your CV or resume, then please have a look at the Information Technology Specialist or the IT Specialist certifications, which are being offered by Certiport. Now, if you'd like some assistance in how to learn all of these particular topics, then I hope you'll allow me to help you. In my Udemy course, ITS 201 Database Fundamentals, we go through all of the requirements of this exam. So we've got over nine hours of on-demand video. And in this course, we have got lots of practice activities and quizzes. So you can be sure that you are learning. There is also a practice test near the end. And I've also got extra videos for all of those topics which have been removed from a previous version of the exam, the 98-364, but which are useful. Once you have learned the concepts, if you'd like some additional practice, then why not have a look at the official practice test or assessments brought to you by measureup.com. So you can see, for instance, in this practice test, there are 112 questions. In the assessment, there are 30, which you can use one or two times. So what I like about these practice tests is that over the period that you've got it, you can take as many tests as you want, and it gives you an explanation. So it's not just, you got the wrong answer, it's, you got the wrong answer for this reason. And that also helps you on your learning journey. So the ITS Specialist 201 Databases exam. It gives you what was there in the 98-364 exam, but then a little bit more. So please check out my course. You'll find a link to it in the description to this video. And please have a look at the exam objectives so you can see what it is you can learn. Well, thank you very much for watching this. If you liked it, then please click the like and why not click the subscribe and the bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.